the ASMR podcast. <laughs> no. Mm. Hello, and welcome back to the Anime Club. We're talking about the story and themes of this anime. So um, many things are left unanswered. I mean, like, like okay, here, the, the storyline is uh, we all want this shitty rental apartment. It, what is it, a 10 by 10 room? I don't think it's 10 by 10. It's, uh, what is it, six tomats? What, how many is it It's like, se- se- it's six mats, right? It's a shitty apartment. Yeah, it's yeah. like six to Tommy mats. But, six, yeah. six, no, specifically six mats big enough for someone to sleep on. Yeah. yeah. So six futons, essentially. But I mean, hey, it's like dirt cheap. Isn't it like 500 bucks for rent? Yeah. 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 Well, oh, I thought it was like 50 bucks. No, no, no. No, because no. he said it's 5,000 uh, yen. Yeah, you just right? 50 yeah, that's 50 yeah. One bucks. zero? Oh, yeah. It, yeah, two zeros. Oh, it's two so, zeros. Yeah, one dollar hundred yen is the easy conversion. It's yeah. it, Obviously, it's a little different, yeah, obviously but it's, it's 50 not that. bucks a month. It's going to take 30 cents oh, here. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, I thought it, yeah, I thought it was 500. I think it's 50. It might be 50 bucks for rent. I think, I think mm-hmm. yeah, five bucks. Jack, you can do this. Come on, it's okay for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like how we're all anticipating this. <laughs> you, see, you can see how like fucking invested we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we're young adults. We need to know how much rent yeah, this costs. Is, this $45.59. Is, uh... All right, then. If, if, if we're remembering the number correctly. This. this well, it wasn't fifty thousand yet. Yeah. Because it was a five. It was five thousand yet. So it, it was either five hundred, five thousand, or fifty thousand, and we would have known if it was fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, but also, that's less than a tank of gas for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for most people. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's big enough to sleep six. Plus, it has a kitchenette and a bathroom. Jesus Christ! Wait, it actually, it has a bathroom. I remember that. Yeah. Bathroom, so, kitchenette, big enough to sleep yeah, six. Uh, oh, I need. As well. Yeah, so it has you know, a closet big enough to sleep another person. Two, so, because show. Yeah. Bunk beds. So at this show, I think the setup is very different than what we get. Because the setup <laughs> makes it seem like it's this absurd setup, and it's just going to be them playing card games in the room for all for like public yeah. Or other games after episode yeah. three. And I kind of would have enjoyed that if it was that stupid-ass absurd setup and from episode one, and it was just them like in little competition throughout the entire series especially if they varied up the competition because yeah. they said um it, every time it came to a person's turn they got to pick what they were playing which is why they were they said they were playing different card games even though they only showed one of them yeah I, that's that's um, something i talked to Seki about i said like okay th- like one of my complaints about it is they say we're going to play different games you only ever see them fucking play and, old maid and, until episode like six yeah and, and my they're ex- playing co- like they're playing like board games finally yeah and my explanation for that is that that's most likely a product of the fact that they want to if they're going to play a card game they want to play a card game that if the, that they don't have to describe the mechanics of it at any yeah. point during the show so they're playing a card game that they're that they assume everyone knows so it has to be a common enough card game in the country that the show is why though Yu Gi Oh is one of the most popular yeah. children's franchises and nobody they're not going to play Yu Gi Oh ha ha I'm draw my trap card <laughs> You don't need to know how to play the game to have fun watching it. You just need to dramatize it like there are some kind of rules. Blue eyes, white dragon! Yeah. Just tell you, like, freaking, that's just, like, subplot in books. But, I, yeah. I know, but I, I'm just saying, that was like, what I assume is why in the anime the show like just would have Because it would have been inoffensive, maybe a little generic, but you bring in, like, the different genres of characters. It could have been a little bit fun. I probably, I probably would have given it an approved if that's like, what it ended up being. Because, like, yeah. the, this, the episode three marathon, 10 out of 10, my favorite episode. Mm-hmm. I actually like the marathon. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, it's my favorite. I let, one through three seemed like they were following that formula, but then once you get to like four through 12, they just go the, like, suddenly it wants to have a plot, but it's not a very good plot. There's only 10 episodes. Is it 10? There's only 10. Uh, it's, 12. Uh, no, it's 12. It's 12. Is it 12? It's 12 yeah. episodes. I remember, I remember watching 10 episodes, so maybe I, maybe I blacked out. Yeah, the black guy didn't watch, but you're a guest. That doesn't matter. It's non-existent and like i said man i'm, I'm sorry I know no, you put like i here, said but... i like the books more believe me yeah well, I, I... Say. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not toku people and i haven't watched it <laughs> the, the principle still stands the principle still applies okay. yeah you know what how i wrap uh, you know what fuck it i don't even actually care even care about spoilers for tokyo ghoul that's how much i don't like this the ending 
of the manga, I talked to people who were like, oh, it was so tragic. It's so sad that this guy had to go through it. My literal reaction to all of these people is, are we not going to talk about how the main character ate his best friend for no reason other than he could? Are we going to talk about this? No, just me? Fine. Yeah, like, Lord, I will die on the hill that the Aragon movie is not as good as the book. You know? What's I get it. That one? Aragon. It's the shitty one about the blue dragon and the uh, dragon rider. I will die on the hill. Dweeby, dweeby blonde guy finds a dragon egg. That's all I, the whole movie. I will movie. die on the hill that the book was a thousand times Wars. better than the movie. Okay. And you know, I believe you, I believe you 100% that this that the books for Invaders is better than the anime, but the anime is just yeah. nah. Yeah, nah. that's the problem. There's, we can't talk about the books because we didn't all read them. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't find any enjoyment in the even is like even the character designs I didn't enjoy. I've seen them do like do things like that, but better anywhere. The magical girl was just Madoka's character design. Like oh, Seki brought yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's straight up. It just looks like uh Madoka. Just like I mean it's obviously tweaked slightly, but mm. it's the same color palette, same see that is the style. only that's that character has the only joke that I thought was even silly clever is the fact that she's homeless. Yeah, <laughs> it's like for the first like three episodes, she's just trying to find a place to sleep. Yeah, yeah. that is the only joke that actually made me go oh, clever. Also, you're forgetting about the uh, poor food stuff. Well, oh yeah, she just just got cup and noodles. I, I've bag. literally never felt more akin to someone than there was one character I was invested in to the very end of their arc. I don't know who it is. Seki Five is who it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he survive. Hercules? I, yes. So we, Hercules. we were watching Hercules and we were like, if Hercules does not survive, that's it. This show is trash. Well, he was gonna fucking die because its food thing was empty. Yeah. yeah, he was just sitting there like looking at its food bowl. So sad. Yeah, and it was like, what is is the beetle gonna die? Is that the is that the plot of this episode? See, yeah. I, I thought maybe that the beetle would die and then um, the rich girl would come back and there would be some sort of like thing over it. Right. Which who, which one is the rich girl? Well, uh, I, it's not, not the one of the members of the group. Girl. The sci-fi no, girl. No, the beetle belonged to a rich girl. Oh, so that's why she was yeah. asked to take care what? of it. They were in the same. One of the one of the members of the cosplay club, the vice mm. president, is the one who owns the rhino beetle. Yeah. Her family is rich, nouveau riche. They're moving to a bigger house. It's going to take them a month. So she gives the magical girl the beetle to take care of while they're moving. And she cannot let it die because that's her the vice president of the club she's in. Right. I wouldn't call her rich, but okay. No, they actually say that she's nouveau riche. They they literally say that in the show God that her family that got shit. like super yeah, rich, either. but they're nouveau riche, which is why they're moving to a big fucking house. You're way wow. more invested. See, I'm happy that someone is as passionate about the rhino beetle as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am invested in Hercules. Can we? Uh, can I, I also I, say that is the that is the connection to my most hated joke in this fucking series the cosplay no oh the fucking beetle thing guy a gropes oh, a woman yeah. in his fucking Thinking sleep of rhino beetles he gropes a woman in his sleep and the reason she's mad at him isn't because that he groped her it's in his because sleep. it was it's a because, rhino beetle yeah it's because he yeah. thought he was cat bugs and she's like oh so you think bugs are more attractive than me and hates him for it yeah i didn't what kind like of that. fucking stupid joke is that, that was a i didn't awful. like that but also i thought that episode four was the worst episode out of the entire 12. oh without a doubt i mean yeah, yeah. Like, so the pinnacle of episode four is the fact that they beat him up and bury him all the way to his neck in the sand because he's not on any of them. Yeah, that is the whole fucking joke. Why? Yeah. It's ter It's yeah. so dumb. Yeah, it was shit. I, I I hated episode four. Episode four was the absolute rock bottom of this series. Yeah, that me. was that That's was very no, yeah, that was the most fan service author insert thing I had ever fucking seen. It, it's literally yeah. the not not ever. That's an exaggeration. I'm sorry. That not ever, but that is. Terrible. It's literally so. It's literally the token um, beach episode. But the worst part is, it's not just a beach episode. It's beach and hot springs episode. Oh God! I'm so they were just. Like, I admit, I purposefully tried to forget about I, that. And we had the bathing suit shopping. Okay. Oh, so mm. there, there was just like every. Okay, you know what? Episode. The problem is that could have worked if it was like, we're getting yeah. this fan service shit out of the way so we can focus on other things. But the problem oh, is the, the entire, other things they yeah. focus on don't matter and they suck. 
Yeah, I okay. So what basically what what, what I was talking about with uh, Nick Knack was that so the first three episodes are kind of character introduction, right? Playing games, introducing characters. Four and five are the are the Ghost Girls arc. Five and six are the Aliens arc. Seven, eight, nine, and ten are the Seven, eight, Magic Girl. Nine. Seven, eight, Magic Girl. Nine and ten are the Underground Girl. Mm-hmm. Right. What's so, eleven and twelve then? The uh, sci-fi. Yeah. The other thing. The sci-fi one is. We the, have our numbers wrong here, but yeah, yeah. Sci-fi sci-fi episode four, yeah. every episode is. Uh, yeah, sci-fi uh, is, the, yeah. is the school is play one. Yeah. 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 A dumb yeah. school yeah. play arc. Yeah. 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 Okay, but so basically, it feels like the three episode introduction, oh. right? Nick Nack and I were really on board for. We liked the three episode introduction, basically to all the characters. It was good up till then. Episodes one, two, and three. Fine. No, it wasn't. Uh, that it was supposed to focus on the knitting club president there. Yeah, oh, I'm looking okay. this up because, like, I yeah. swear no, to God, I have it open. I might computer. be, I might be missing yeah. some episodes. Here, so I have it open on my computer. Um, one, two, and three was the the introductions, yeah. and then swimming and plots was four, and precious charms was five. Those two were Ghost Girl. Mm-hmm. So six and seven were the cultural festivals and my night. Episode eight was an evil girl appears, followed by the sun and a rainbow, and then Earth Empire versus the Sun Squad, and someday with them. Yeah. And then the final episode was Invasion Going Well. Yeah. Hmm. Which, Which was is just a, a fan service. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. See, I swear to God, I guess I fucking counted it wrong because I thought I only watched 10 episodes, but I know I've seen all of these things. Yeah. Hmm. But okay. But so basically, they, they introduce yeah. everything in three episodes and then they're like, let's start doing character arcs, right? So they do a character arc for each of the main females, right? But the problem is, none of the character arcs are good. They're not even character arcs. No, but that's what they're supposed to be. Yeah, I know they're supposed to be character arcs, but they're not. Yeah. They're not even character arcs because the characters are the same. Yeah. Okay, I have to save that criticism for when we talk about the characters, but... But the arcs aren't good. Yeah, there are not arcs because arcs imply that a character has growth. They learn something about themselves. They develop as an individual. None of these characters do. Ten- also, the worst part is, which is my least favorite fucking trope in any fucking anime, is the Mary Sue main character, which is they they are exist purely for you to project yourself onto them and make you feel like, oh, I could be that person. So they have no personality, they have no standing, they have nothing. And the thing is about this, again, it's a harem anime. And most harem animes are either absurdly horny or they try too hard to be funny. This is neither. Yeah, like, it has not nothing horny. going on. It's supposed to be like a fun, happy, feel-good anime. And it's not even that. Yeah, but also, I mean, I would, I mean, if, you're, if we're just defining a character arc by a character making some sort of progress... Then technically, um, the alien girls. She does make character progress because yeah. she comes. Because it's a, there's a post credit scene where she comes back and she's like, you know, you you were valiant today. You saved me. You didn't have to. Like I'm gonna make you a knight of my kingdom, etc. Character you, progress. Yeah. Do though. you call that? Do you call that? I don't char- know. I, do you I, call I, crushing on a guy character arc? I no. I don't. I don't necessarily think it's that though. Like I think that she. I think that she has realized that not all the people in this room are absolute shit stains of humanity. I think she's acknowledging that like that he has a value as as like a human being with intelligent thought. I, I understand yeah. I understand what you're meaning, but I'm I know this sounds horribly dickish. Can you stop? Oh, this sounds horribly dickish of me, but all I'm hearing is Sundere does Sundere thing. <laughs> That's all I'm Here's hearing. The, um she came from the space empire. So everybody on Earth she considers Daniel. Yeah. But she at this point is now considering him a little bit higher. So that's your character development right there. For it's not much though. that you can see. Yeah. Freaking camera yeah, against like this. Are you okay, Psyche? You look like you're have to fuck about to have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I've broken apart the star-crossed lovers. <laughs> that would be Nick Nick and the Broken Show. Yes. <laughs> For the non-visual viewers. Which yeah. is all of them. Anyway, anybody else got any blonde points or anything you want to bring up? Nope. I don't know. I, I, like I said, I was really excited at the very beginning that this was going to be a harem anime and the main character wasn't horny AF. Mm-hmm. I was really excited. because Because it, it kind of felt like they were maybe going to be able to do something with it. But that did not follow through. That's the problem with this story and like the themes. There's no follow through on any of them. They like introduce them and then they just stay there. There's no follow through. None. Absolutely. It's stagnant. 
Also, can I bring up kind of the romantic ending, quote unquote, of episode 12, where he gives the girl the scarf and then it immediately cuts to back to the apartment where it shows he gave every single one of them the exact same scarf. What a fucking douche thing to do, dude. Come on. I actually missed that detail, honestly. I didn't catch that either. No, it shows all of them back at the apartment well, and they're yeah, all like wearing the, the exact horses. same scarf. Yeah. It's even the same fucking color. Yeah. yeah. There's no difference. Oh. Yeah, they make a big it's deal out of he pathetic. gives this scarf to the girl and it's like, oh, it's so romantic and like heartfelt. And then it shows all of them wearing the same fucking scarf and it's like, wow, dude. Yeah. How about uh, that, that, like that last one? So they try to set, like, do this weird, bad MCU post credit thing with the Santa scene. Oh my God. Mm. Like, like, look, there's more plot if you read the light novels. Literally. Yeah. Well, they at least got people into the light novel. They got me into it. Was that a good thing or bad thing? I don't know how There's many people. On that part, I don't yeah. know how many people this anime got to watch. D- th- this anime got people to read the light novel, as opposed to how many light novel readers watched the anime. Uh, I, yeah. I I doubt yeah. this show was super super popular. So I bet a lot of the people who were reading it watched it, but I doubt that a lot of people checked out the book after watching this. Because honestly, I wouldn't want to read a book based on this. Well, let's. Uh, I mean, there are certain people out there though that you know you see something and like is. Is the source material really this bad? Yeah. Yep. And that's the reason why I read No Kanjo. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's Guys fair. Like to fucking piss him the fuck off because fucking hell, that was so crap. I mean, that's why I read Domestic No Kanjo. <laughs> Is that the one where you said your wife boo was the end credits? No, no, no one said that about that one. I don't think anyone had, I don't think others had a wife in that one. That was the one with the enema up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was a suppository. We were, I was going to say, I thought we stopped talking about Kamasuba. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a suppository up his stepsister slash teacher's ass. Yeah. No, no, no. His teacher was the step was his older stepsister. His younger stepsister yeah. took the suppository. That's it. Which also <laughs> became the girlfriend of fucking... I, I mean, I yes. mean, yes. B- yeah. back in, back uh. in. It's called domestic Nakanajo, and Nakanajo means girlfriend. <laughs> the show's called Domestic Girlfriend. I just need to rub my temples here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Never watch it, seriously, go. It's oh, oh I'm way ahead of you on that it's one, brother. The absolute fucking worst. Like, I think I hate it more than Date Alive. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I hate more than Domestic Nikata Joe was Amagami SS. <sighs> uh. <laughs> And we all hate Gami. She's his fucking teacher! <laughs> and his sister! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Have you heard Domestic McConaughey's setup? I have not. So, uh, this guy has a crush on his teacher. I, we've seen that in anime before. Obviously. Mm-hmm. He is depressed because he's single, so he goes out to a mixer and ends up hooking up with his one girl for a one-night stand. Who is his teacher's little sister? Who turns out to be his teacher's little sister. Well, his dad's also secretly behind the scenes been had a fiance and introduces him to his fiance's family who turns out to be the person he hooked up who turns out his so his new stepsisters are the person he hooked up with and the teacher he had a crush on and now they're all okay, living okay. in the same house and she yeah. gets drunk and she wears virtually nothing and they're all horny okay okay you know what okay okay i'm, I'm gonna save this invaders is a boring no substance show but jesus christ thank you for not making it that uncomfortable or gross yeah. i would rather have actively bad than boring as shit I'll i would rather have invaders than domestic yeah i would actually go with domestic over there, invaders. there is so okay you know what i i can there are like sleeves i can handle but if there are certain kinds of sleeves i can't do <laughs> like i couldn't do high school of the dead like I had to give up on that. The sec- the the moment where he fires the, the gun that's wrapped around the girl's body and her tits slap her in the face and then hit the gun so hard it rattles and then you see the girl who ha- bends backwards and her boobs are flying in different directions as the bullet passes through the empty space between them. I literally sat there and went, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> nope. And then I probably turned it off and went outside and had a deep think about myself. <laughs> Did you smoke some weed okay, as well? Okay. No, I didn't have any at the time. So uh, I do it like this. 
there's no way else to define those shows than cringe. But cringe is an inherently negative emotion. That doesn't no. necessarily mean it's bad. Being scared is an inherently negative emotion. Being sad is a negative emotion. So what's wrong? If, you're, if you watch horror to be scared, tragedy to be sad, what's wrong with watching bad shows? No, I mean, I understand cringe. <laughs> <laughs> appeal of cringe but there is just certain life i like your nick i, I like your logic nick nick i will use uh, this from now on <laughs> this is uh this is why i said that um him saying that you have taste mm -hmm. isn't a, a good no 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 that's not point. anything i have well again i, I find it taste. very i find it very a very good com a very good comment thank you guys these yeah. two are masochists right here oh, no they're not fucking masochists they're what they call men of culture yes that yes i'm so glad you cool. agree <laughs> well hey let's just keep in mind darkness is actually a rich chick yeah that is true yeah. so she's technically cultural cultural and she still gets her rocks off by fantasizing being fantasizing about being trapped in a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, but like on the scale of like what kinks I'd rather have, I'd rather have masochism than liking putting suppositories up my younger stepsister's ass. Okay, I thought we were gonna move away from that. I sincerely <laughs> I like how we're just not even talking about the okay, show. No, at this no, no, point. Back, back yeah, to invaders. Yeah. Back to invaders. Uh, are we on characters or story? Story. <laughs> story. Oh, we're God. still on story. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking skip it, Alice. Go. I, I think we've said that all we yeah, want. Yeah, I think let's move on to story. characters. Subscribe to our Patreon. No. <laughs> Don't subscribe. If you subscribe to our Patreon, we swear we'll never talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs>